Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, as you can tell by the title, I am going to be reorganizing my book room. And this is very long overdue. I literally had this as like an office slash book room, but now I've made it into just a book room. I feel like my shelves are overdue for a good like reorganization. I will do an overview and everything before I start. Some of the goals for this is that I just wanted a little corner that I can read in, which I will show you in a second. And I love when people have gaps in their bookshelves where they can put like decor and stuff in between some of the books because it just organizes it better. And I added some new shelves in here, which are behind the camera. They're like those cube shelves. Shelves, which I will also show you. And pretty much I just want to spread my books out more. I want some more statement bookshelves as well. And I'm just going to show you all that during the video. And hopefully it turns out exactly how I want it. And I will also be doing a bookshelf tour at some point. It won't be in this video because I'll do it once it's all reorganized and everything. I will just start by showing you everything in here that is in here so far. Don't mind how messy it is to start off. As I said, it is long overdue to be done. So I am holding a massive tripod right now. So this is kind of hard. So we have my main bookshelves. These are absolutely massive and you would have seen them in my house tour if you've watched that. So they look very cluttered. There's a lot of things like in front which I want to move. That's why I want like more gaps in between so they can sit there instead. But yeah, that is my big bookshelves. And then I just have some pictures on the wall. They're actually puzzles, but they're like book cover puzzles, which I love. And then down here we have my little reading corner. So I got this chair from Kmart actually recently and it's really comfortable. And then my rose quartz table just has like a little table to put things on like coffees and stuff and then a little footstool. And then over here we just have my little book cart. I've actually got a pink one, but it's at my job and I don't need it at work anymore so I'm actually going to take it home and swap it but that won't be done today that'll be done later on but I do need to reorganize this as well and then over here is the new section sorry for the lighting it's because it's backlit by the window but I just put these cubes and I put a couple of series in there last night just to see what it would look like so my goal for this little section is to just put series and books that look good together because, for example, like some series just don't match each other on the shelf if I want to do like rainbow order. So that's why they would just look better here. So I've put the Shadow Me series, Akatar series, which I just started, and the Addicted series. But that was just an example, so I'll definitely fill this up as well. Yeah, that is an overview of the room. There's some books on the floor that I need to pick up as well. But I'm going to start by taking every single book off and stacking it like against the window just so they're out of the way. So yeah, I'm just going to start by taking all of the books off and stacking them against the window. Also, how cute is this? It's literally a mini bookshop and it has lights in it. Like I made the whole thing. It was from like a box pack thing. It was so hard to make. Like it literally took me like a whole night to finish it. But it's actually adorable. Like you can see all the little bookshelves in there. So that's like one of my bookshelf decor pieces. These stacks are looking a little bit scary so far. They're looking a little bit tall. But... <laughs> Hopefully they don't fall over. The way like I have to get behind this to take a thumbnail as well and I haven't really left myself much space. So that is one side of the bookshelf done and we already have this many piles. I'm also going to count how many books I have because I've always wondered and I've never counted but I that, that's going to be my job for today. Oh my goodness. This isn't even all the books, but I need to take my thumbnail and I don't even know how to do this. No, we can't have damaged books. No. Why have I put them in the way of like where I need to walk? I feel like when I moved out, I had like half the amount of these books and that was only in November because I remember unboxing all of my books and it was probably, yeah, literally half of these. So I don't understand how... I've gotten so many books since then, but <laughs> there's not much I can do. Okay, so let me show you where we're at right now. I think my camera is slightly crooked, so just please ignore that. So I've just emptied the whole bookshelf, or two bookshelves, and I am surrounded by books. My next step is to wipe all the shelves. So I'm just going to use like a spray and wipe and paper towel 
because they are really dusty and I feel like whenever I watch these videos no one ever wipes them down and I know I need to so I'm gonna go through each shelf and wipe it down and then I'm gonna count all my books and then I'm gonna try to start organizing but I think I'm gonna start with the smaller shelf just because I know it's gonna be a lot easier to sort out my books starting from there I am finished wiping down the shelves. I'm gonna give you an overview of all the books now. So we have all of those piles down there. And then around here we have all of those piles. And then we have some more piles over here as well. So the next step is counting those to see how many we have. Hopefully I don't lose count. I'm gonna start with this pile because I feel like the most is over here. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, so 139 in this pile 333 so of course we ended up on an angel number because that's just typical like everything around me is angel number so 333 this is what 333 books looks like i finished counting the books as i said i have 333 books so now i'm going to start doing these bookshelves first so obviously I put some in there last night already, so I'm going to leave those in there. I put the Shadow Me series in the first little cube because I love this series. I haven't finished it, but I definitely want to finish it soon. And then we have the Akatar series in its own little cube. And then we have the Addicted series, which I obviously need to buy a lot more books in this series, but I'm kind of only buying where I'm up to at that point. But I'm trying to figure out what else I want, so I know I'm going to have an Anna Huang cube as well. So that'll be the next one I do. Let me just grab them. So I have all of my Anna Huang books here. I love them. So I have the Twisted series and then King of Wrath and King of Pride. I haven't read yet, but I they're on my physical TBR, so they're probably going to move to the cart anyway. They obviously need their own little shelf, so that's going to go in the fourth cube at the end. And then I actually have a bunch of crystal books from when I had my crystal business. So I'm going to put a lot of them away, but I am going to make a little cube for them as well. I'm thinking the bottom right one just because it's like out of the way and I don't want them on my big shelves so I'm gonna put them in here the prettiest ones so I'm gonna take these ones because they look pretty this one's really pretty as well the adventure challenge this is my mine and my boyfriend's like couple book I don't know this was going viral a couple of years ago we've literally done like one and we need to do more actually I might leave that somewhere else so I remember because I genuinely forgot we had it next cube I'm gonna do books from Alice Oseman like the Heartstopper series because that's such a cute series and I feel like it just deserves its little cube as well and then I'm gonna make a Magnolia Parks universe cube as well because I've only got the first book because I am reading this right now. Now it has been on my physical TBR for two months now and I've finally gotten to it and I absolutely love it. I've got like less than 100 pages to go so I'm going to finish that after this. But just so I know where it's going to go, that will go... We'll put it in this one. We'll make a little stack going upwards. And then we have one more cube left. So I need to buy the rest of those books. And then one more cube. I'm thinking Emily Henry, the off-campus series. I think we're going to do the off-campus series because I know there's a spin-off series as well. And that'll leave more space to get those books as well. I was halfway through the second one, but I'm going to take the bookmark out because I'm going to restart it from the beginning. So that is those shelves finished. For now, I don't really know where to begin. I think I'm going to time lapse it and start putting things on the shelf. So my plan is I'm going to make one side like romance books, colourful order, so rainbow order. And then on the other side, it's going to be thrillers, fantasies, like dystopian books, like all of that kind of stuff. But I do want all of my romance on one side because I have a lot of romance books. So that's why I'm going to put them all together. So you won't see me grabbing the books, but you'll see me putting them on. It's a bit of a weird angle because there's books everywhere, so I don't really have space to set up my tripod. Um, also, I have an energy drink because I'm getting really tired doing this. First world problems, I know, but I am getting really tired, so that's why I'm going to have a little energy drink. I am going to try to do kind of like colourful order from here to here. So the first three shelves will be coloured romance books. And then romance series so like the summer i turned pretty with the fine print and those books emily henry's books just all of those little like series or books that go together that don't match each other but they need to I'm go in together. this video now and as you can tell i was literally planning what i was doing as i go 
because I had a plan in my head and then it wasn't working. So that's why I'm like explaining it to myself and you. But also I forgot to mention in the video that I want that chair to be a little filming corner. Um, I might start with doing a little series shelf just so I know where I'm at and like where I'm up to because I don't know where to begin. I might do the after series. I have not to read this series because I watch the movies and I don't like them. They're so cringe, but I've heard the series is really good. I've also got the graphic novel in the first book, which I also want to read. But yeah, that's going to go next because I feel like I've got the perfect amount of space for that series. That's that little shelf finished. Now I'm going to do the colored order. Honestly, when I say colored, it'll probably be from red to blue that will fit. And then on the bottom two, I'll do like the white and black romance books. So that is the little pink romance shelf. You can't really see it that well, actually. But yeah, that's a little pink shelf. Might need some space for a couple more, but I'm just going to go straight into like peachy, orangey colors because I know there's not going to be that many orangey colors. Yeah, that is not romance, I don't think. All of my little yellow books. I actually love yellow books. Like, something about them just makes me so happy. Okay, I am going to stop the camera for a little bit and I'll come back when I've finished the, like, romance side because the camera's just getting in my way and it will be a lot quicker if I just do it quickly okay. off the camera. So, I have pretty much finished the romance shelf, as you can see. And I've also started with the fantasy shelf. Fantasies are so hard to make look pretty. Like, I'm really struggling with this. So, I've pretty much done series at the top. But yeah, as I said, it's a real struggle. I also reorganized some of the series on my romance shelf. So, I'm just going to time lapse for a bit more. So, you can see what I'm doing and see what I'm up to. I don't even know what The Invisible Life at Uluru is about. Like, I don't think it's just romance. I don't even know. So I'm just going to put it on this, like, fantasy shelf. Okay, I've got to turn this off again because I'm getting very overwhelmed. I finally finished the actual shelves, but I'm not going to go through them yet. So I'm going to do my book cart. So I'm going to make the first two shelves books that I want to read sooner rather than later. So my physical TBR. So I'm going to grab the series from those shelves first that I want to read sooner. Um, and I'll just quickly like name each one. Okay. So to start off the books I want to read that are part of series, like the next books in the series, Restore Me in the Shadow Me series. That's the fourth book in the series. Kiss the Sky, which is the Addictus slash Callaway Sister series. King of Wrath, which is a new series from Anna Huang. And um, A Court of Mist and Fury, which is a part of the Akatar series because I just finished Akatar. Next, The Air in the selection series. When I brought this book, I literally said the hair. That's really stupid of me, but the air, I'm saying it right this time. Juniper Hill, which is a part of the Eden series. It's the second book. Terms and Conditions, which is the Dreamland Billionaire series. It literally says it at the back. I really want to read My Dark Romeo as well. Throttled by Lauren Asher. That whole shelf is going to be gone. Book Lovers by Emily Henry. Everyone read that so long ago and I haven't read it yet. Caraval, which is the same world as the Once Upon a Broken Heart series. I want to read Breaking Dawn in the Twilight series. I read Twilight, I think 2021, like just the first book. And I haven't read this since like, I was probably like 13. So I really want to continue this series as well, actually. Camera is literally about to die. I need to go get a different battery, but I'm going to go through them very, very quickly, just so you can see what I have on my physical TBR. So Binding 13, King of Wrath, Throttled, Book Lovers, A Court of Mist and Fury. Juniper Hill, Terms and Conditions, To All the Boys I've Loved Before. I've never read that, which I really need to. Um, Caraval, Restore Me, Kiss the Sky, Breaking Dawn, The Serpent and the Wings of Night, Before We're Strangers, The Fourth Wing, My Dark Romeo, and The Air in the selection series. Okay, so my camera just died, so I just got the other battery. So now on the bottom shelf, I'm going to do the books that I've read during the month already, which I think I've read like six books already during this month, which is actually really good for me. So I'm gonna quickly do that. Okay, so I'm finally finished organizing everything. So I'm gonna do a little overview 
of everything that we just did in this video so obviously i have my little reading corner reading chair table that didn't change and my little footstool so that just stayed the same the pictures on the wall and then here i've tried to do the colorful order of the romance books on this side as you can see like there's series as well that don't match very well but i've done my best and then over here i just have a really pretty crystal and like a tea light holder but it just looks really cute sitting there like that so i put those two there and then on this side we have literally every other genre you can possibly think of so it's only taken up four of these six shelves so i've got two spare shelves at the bottom which is actually a good thing because i can fit more when i buy more and stuff like that all of these books here i've got my little bookshelf bookshop here i've just turned it on so you can see it better and then over here it's just a really pretty mug and then we'll go over here so this is my physical tbr here and down here annotating supplies and then the books i've read during the month so far and then i'll change that every month obviously so then over here i'm going to go through what i've done so we've got some fake flowers over here with a candle and a crystal another candle and then they're sitting on top of my rupee core poem books because i just think they look really cute there i'll probably get something taller there as well i just don't know what yet my little pictures on the wall and then i'm going to go through these quickly so we have the shadow me series alice oseman books the off campus series the akata series the Addicted slash Callaway Sisters series, Magnolia Parks Universe. I'm going to get more of those books. I just wanted them to have their own little box as well. Some Crystal self-help books and the Twisted series and just Anna Huang books in general. The only thing that's missing that I'm probably going to go buy tonight is like a giant rug. I did have a rug but unfortunately Nally ripped it up and I want to get a bigger version of the rug that I had anyway. But yeah that wraps up the whole video. I really hope you all enjoy this video. Sorry it's going to be really long and I'm going to be rambling a lot but I really hope you did enjoy it and I hope this gave you some sort of inspiration because I know books are so hard to organize. This took me like three hours to do realistically so it's just it just takes a long time to sort out books and if you want to see more content from me like reading these books, book vlogs, wrap ups, all of that make sure to subscribe to my channel so you can see those videos and give the video a big like if you did enjoy it but yeah that wraps up the whole video so thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video